Hello, I'm Max. Welcome to my channel. In the first video in this tutorial series, we wrote a C program that output a sine wave using GStreamer. And the second video, we create a Flutter app that utilizes code in that C program and make that Flutter app output sine wave and make it work on Linux. And today, we are going to make the app work on Windows. We have already created the app and a FFI plugin in previous video. So if you want to know how the folder was structured, please watch the previous video. Or you can just follow the link in description to the code repository on GitHub. Okay. Now let's install dependencies on Windows. First, of course, is Flutter. I have already installed. Next is Visual Studio. Uh, Visual Studio and under workloads is desktop development with C. I have already installed, as you can see. I'm going to close that. Then we need a package manager, is, which is Chocolatey. Uh, hitting this install, you should see. Scroll down, you should see a command here, and we will need PowerShell, but run it as administrator. Okay, by clicking this, you should copy the command and paste it here. Oh, copy it again paste it here and by running the command you should have chocolatey installed I have already installed so I'm not gonna run this if you successfully installed you should have choco and that's it so with that installed we are gonna need two packages for our juice streamer choco install juice streamer and to streamer stash d e v e l again i have already installed so i'm not gonna run it oh after you install those two packages you should have a folder in your c drive and g streamer if you remember our ffi plugin uses package config to link against g streamer and if you have these two packages installed correctly, you should have it as well because GStreamer has already packaged that for us. So where to find it? It's in C GStreamer 1.0 MSVC bin. And if you search, you should have it. It's right here. And this should be in your path after you install these two packages. And finally, to edit our code, you need Visual Studio Code. Okay. And now, we should have everything installed. So the first thing, let's try build the app. This is the app. And open a terminal. Get. Okay, let's build it. Windows. But let's build it for debug. It failed. Let's see what went wrong. So, this red lines mainly complain two things. One is unrecognized option. Two 
is unresolved external symbol. Uh, the reason why we getting unrecognized option is these options are not built for MSVC, and we need the correct option for our MSVC linker. And the unresolved symbol is caused by we are not using the correct linker options. So let's fix that. Now first, let's demonstrate what's, what is the correct linker options. So, and again, I remember we use package config for linking GStreamer. And GStreamer 1.0 lips. Okay, and this is the one we are getting, but that's not for MSVC. And package config had an option for that. Let's add dash dash MSVC syntax. And this one should work on MSVC linker. So Let's open our native binding CMake file. Let's put our thing. Let's put it under here. If it's Windows and find program CMake config executable pkg dash config if we find it see make and we will run it within this script x Sec program C make yes this one and remember we want to output something like this we want it to output something like this let's copy this one and comment it out to run it something like this arcs So, so do not confuse ourselves. Let's put it like this. And we want to overwrite this one. And output variable GST LD flex. And we can print it out to make sure we got the correct output. GST LD flex. GST LD flex. And what we output here is an option and we are not outputting libraries anymore so we will also need to put it in condition win32 else and if copy that this is not link libraries it's link options and <coughs> that should be correct now let's try it again clear doctor pop get so it gets updated and flutter build windows the book
and this is what we get I'll put things should be right and it failed again let's see and the unrecognized option was gone and all we have is unresolved external symbol and now if we look at the command that causes this error we can see the line the thing the op the option that we output was here but it was put under but it was put within a quotation mark and I assume that makes linker thing the th the entire quotation mark was a single object and we don't want that now the reason quotation mark was here is because the option we generated contains spaces and lucky for us the msvc linker provides a special character that can help us separate libraries and we need to replace space with that special character let's open the doc and this is linking scroll all the way down in here the lib variable can contain one or more path spe specifications separated by semicolons and we will replace spaces with semicolon so that it no longer outputs so so that this line this option will no longer need a quotation mark and to do that we will use a function in cmic string replace space with semicolon gst of the flex gst of the flex and that should be it semicolon make sure i got the spelling right it and build <laughs> and it outputs as we want it And it works. Build success. Now let's try to run it. And run it. And there's our sine wave. like before 
we may need to debug native code. Now let's open our launch.json and let's add another configuration. Let's call it. Oh, let's rename this. This is Linux native and name uh, Windows native type CPP vs DBG is our is for is what we want for Windows request is launch program we can skip it for now and we don't need arcs we don't need environment and I think we need CWD we will put it as file third name let's try if it works Windows native if we get okay oh we forgot to update okay let's find where where our executable are we have build we have Windows and it's in our runner and debug and like before this is path to our app project and within our app projects this is path to the executable let's copy that under here and replace and our executable name will be our project name dot exe fltgst dot exe save and run it okay it works it launches now let's find our native code thing it's in dependencies direct dependencies native binding which is our FFI plugin find our C file let's add a point breakpoint here same as before and run it M breakpoint was hit let's add our data variable to watch list and this is all and the pattern address I assume this is empty for Windows okay let's hit next line it's updated next line updated next line updated and so on and I consider that working I in the same wave window is popping up And that's it for this video. In the next video, I will show you how to make it work on Mac OS. See you in the next one.